Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I have a charity shop clothing and a few random bits haul. <laughs> As you know, if you've been watching my channel for a long, long time, um, I have done charity shop hauls before. I love nothing more than a good rummage in a charity shop to try and find some really nice bits. Some could say I'm quite like Joyce from Chris Lilly's Lunatics series on Netflix. Um, when it comes to me in charity shops. <laughs> but my main motto with charity shops is if you see it and you like it, get it because you probably won't ever see it again. And of course, shopping secondhand is great for the environment and just obviously the charities that you're giving money to. I am all for secondhand clothing, whether it's on Depop or charity shop shopping. Um, it's just a great way to help the environment out a little bit. Um, and you just get some really cool individual pieces. Um, obviously lots of like Primark t-shirts are out there but. <laughs> so I'm gonna get on and show you what I got. Um, I went to Banbury first and I must have gone into like five different charity shops or something. If you're in the Oxfordshire area, Banbury is very good for charity shops. Um, where else? And then this morning I went into Woodstock um, because they have quite a lot of like rich people living there. <laughs> So sometimes the clothes are really nice in the charity shops, which there were some all right clothes today there, but it's so expensive in those shops sometimes. Um, charity shop prices have gone like way up. Um, although I love it when you find the pound rail, that is always a good day. So I'm gonna get started. The first thing is probably the most expensive thing I have ever bought from a charity shop. I really wasn't sure if I was going to get it because it was 24 99 which but I tried it on and I just couldn't leave it in the shop. So this is the first item. It is a leather jacket in sort of like a bike style. In the back looks like this. It's got nice sort of detailing at the back. And one of the things that puts me off leather jackets is like the restriction of movement inside them. I love to be able to move my arms around really <laughs> and this one I can and I can fit like a good jumper underneath this and it just it was so flattering so I'm very happy with this leather jacket find and I actually saw a leather jacket today in a different charity shop and it was 80 pounds and it looked worse than this one so I was like oh, well I got a bit of a bargain <laughs> sticking with outerwear I went to Sue Ryder and I found this jacket which was 750 and it's like a camel wool coat. It's quite an interesting shape. It's just got a little zip down the front and a button. And then the back is um, elasticated. Um, I don't know where this is from. It says inside, but that's where that's from. Never heard of it. It's just got really nice little details like the little button across a bit under the collar and the sleeves are nice, they've got nice little pleats and a little cuff. thought it was quite like a vintage construction so it would go quite nicely with like some little kick flare jeans or something or some black flares. Very happy with that and also $7.50 for a coat, that is more of a like, that's the sort of price I'm wanting to pay at a charity shop. Next up, this is from, where was I, British Heart Foundation and this Again, it was quite expensive, this was $8.99, but I just thought this was so cute and I think it's going to be great for just like moping around the house or when it gets super, super cold to have it as like a layer underneath jackets, but this is it. It's from Land's End, so quite a good brand. I think the checks just sold it to me because my uni collection was all like blue and checks and all that loveliness, so... Yeah, it's just so lightweight as well. I just thought, yep, gonna have that for the winter to keep me nice and warm. I'm always on the hunt for nice little old lady jumpers when I go to charity shops. <laughs> and I didn't really find that many old lady ones this time, but um, this one is kind of, well, I don't know. This is from the brand Evie. <sighs> no idea what that is. But I just thought it was really nice, simple cream knit. It's just got stripes all the way down and then I love this sort of detailing at the neckline. I really, really like the style of that. Um, and this was like 3 dollars or something, so nice and cheap. 
and I wear cream jumpers so much so I knew I'd get some wear out of this bad boy. Then when I went in today I found this really sweet little Karen Millen cardigan, super like tight fitting um, and I just love the little detailing in it, I don't know if you can see, it's just really really pretty, nice little rib around the bottom and just really nice little details like the neckline is really pretty and I wear so much blue because I think it looks really great with red hair but yeah I think this is super cute and I just love a cardigan because it just instantly looks vintagey and sort of I don't know I'm just really really liking cardigans now I never really wear cardigans undone um, although I think this one would look quite cute with like a high neck stripy blue underneath it and poking out a bit and then maybe having the top two undone and I don't know that would look quite cute too Ooh. so this is the second little cardigan it's just a little wrap around style cardigan it really reminded me of like an old ballet cardigan that you'd wear when you went to your ballet classes when you were like five <laughs> and I always think wrap around cardigans are very very flattering so I'm excited to wear this I'd probably wear it with like quite a low neck top underneath um, or maybe nothing underneath and just like a nice little lacy bralette that just shows a little bit um, and that was eight pounds which I didn't really realize and then I got to the checkout and I was like oh that's quite a lot for a cardigan <laughs> but I think I'd get quite a lot of wear out of this okay please don't judge me for this purchase because I'm not quite sure why I got it I just thought it was quite cute um, but this was in where was this the British Heart Foundation again and it's just this little corset from, it's originally from Warehouse and it's got loads of little um, silver beads all over it um, but it's it's in a size 8 and it's quite tight on the chest area because <laughs> my ribs are quite large and I have a bit of a chest <laughs> it's not really a size 8 um, so I might be selling this on my Depop so if you're interested in this then follow me on Depop, I will link it down below. But I might like take a nice picture in it, because um, I can just about breathe in it. I really should have tried this on when I was there, and that's also something, that's a tip. I'm actually doing that a lot more now in charity shops, is actually trying the stuff on and not just being like, yep, take that. Um, but this was actually the only shop I didn't try things on in, which was stupid. Because of course it is like the most, unique fitting garment that there is <laughs> but I think it'll be kind of cute we're nearing the end now um, the next up also from the same shop is a pair of ginormous jeans <laughs> they're huge but that is great because they were like five pounds yes and they're waist 40 men's waist 40 and um, I just loved this wash of denim on it so I thought I could make myself a pair of jeans out of this denim um, or use it and do like a really creative little project where I make a top out of it or something like that so yeah I like it whenever I see like a really nice wash denim I always get it and also this doesn't have like any rips or anything down the jeans like they're a really good pair of jeans if you were a size 40 but I have them now and they're probably going to be chopped up mm -hmm. then I picked up two little black bags first one I think is my new favorite thing it's so cute it's just a little beaded bag and it just zips open and you could fit your phone and maybe like a card or two in there so it's a pretty good size and then it just has a little strap you could just hold it like that or you could put it over your shoulder and then this is the second bag it's got this horrible little silver tag at the front which makes it look very cheap so that's gonna come off right now and it also kind of smells like it belonged to a smoker which is my least favorite smell ever for charity shop stuff um well actually like bo soaked t-shirt would probably be the worst but this was 3.99 and it's just very in style this sort of shapes bag just 
goes over the shoulder like that. Um, it's got quite a decent amount of space inside. You can put a few cigarettes in there. Like, like, assume. There's actually quite a strong smell now. Oh, what's that? And it even comes with a sanitary towel. <clears throat> so, um, this is gonna be Febreze. Then finally I have three little items that are not clothing related. The first one is a pair of candlesticks. These were $3.99 for a pair. And I just thought they were really pretty. I love like slightly unique looking glass items. So yeah, love these and I have some really cute little candles that are pink and go out of there. So yay, finally found some nice candlestick holders. Um, because I just couldn't find any like this anywhere. They're all really chunky or too modern and I just found these and fell in love. And then from the Catherine House Hospice, which was the most stressful charity shop I've ever been into, I found this little um, picture frame with cut out bits for like collaging images together. And I just thought it was very grandma-like. Um, so I picked it up and I'm going to put little pictures of Flory in all of these somehow. It might be a bit tricky, um, but I'm going to do it. So a good little time wasting item there. And then the last item is very, very random and it is some very old scented drawer lining um, paper. And the logo alone shows how old it is, it's from St Michael's, which is m &S. That's what it used to be called. I initially thought it was wallpaper, um, which, and it was 75p, so. But I'm not gonna use it for draw lining. I am just gonna use it for like collaging and wrapping. It smells a bit funky. It's like kind of nice, but also like, well, it's been sitting somewhere for a while. <laughs> but that's what the paper looks like. I just thought it was super sweet. So, yeah. Win, win. So there we have it. Those are all of the new items I've picked up recently from charity shops. I hope this video inspires you guys to go out to a few charity shops, maybe instead of Primark or like those other shops. <laughs> I know it's so tempting to go to Primark when it's like the same price, maybe even cheaper than a charity shop, but it is fun to do charity shops every now and then because you never know what you're going to find. And again, I will link my Depop down below. I still have quite a few items available on there if you want to have a little shop on there. And um, yeah, maybe some of these items may end up on there if I decide I'm not going to keep them. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!